Why did Varian die, exactly? We see Varian pull off an amazing feat of strength right before getting stabbed by some random Felguard, and then finished off by Gul'dan. But why was he stabbed by some random Felguard considering what he just did? Did Blizzard forget he just took down a giant ass fell robot that was strong and heavy enough to pull down the gunship? Look at this right here. The Fell Reaver's hand is about two times bigger than Greymane, if you include the spikes. Let's take out the spikes and take a look at this little picture here, where we can see that the human in this graph is about the same size as the Iron Giant's hand. So I'll use that as a base and be a little conservative and say the Fell Reaver in the cinematic is about 20 meters tall, or 65 feet. Now, a 65 foot giant hunk of metal fueled by Fell Magic some of the strongest type of magic in the WoW universe, mind you, was stabbed through the head by a normal human that was somehow enough for it to not only let go of the gunship, but die and explode immediately after. Either this thing is the biggest glass cannon in the world, or Varian has super strength. And since there's a scene showing a normal human bouncing off the Fel Reaver seconds before the king jumps on him, I'm gonna go ahead and rule out the glass cannon thing. But then this begs the question, how strong would you have to be to deliver a blow that hard to the Fell Reaver? Well, I'm going to use some extremely speculative math and give myself a kind of a ballpark answer. Olympic boxers can throw punches with a peak of around a thousand pounds of force. The average sledgehammer, the tool which can apply force better than any other type of tool, since swords are actually pretty terrible at hitting solid objects with, isn't that much higher than a thousand pounds of force. So, to be fair, I'll say that Varian has Olympic levels of strength, and his legendary sword is a little better than a sledgehammer, so he's able to put out about uh, 1,500 pounds of force. Now, the average 1x1 steel bar needs about 40,000 pounds of force applied to bend. I think the Fel Reaver's head was a little thicker than this, and Varian does a little more than bend the metal. So I'll be conservative again and just say Varian was able to apply about 50,000 pounds of force to the Fel Reaver's head, which just happens to be its weak point, and was able to take him down that way because in addition to all of these variables, he just got lucky or something. So Varian was able to output about 34 times more pounds of force than he should have been able to, which would make him about 30 times stronger than the average Olympic level human. In the Marvel Universe, they have a power index to determine how strong the various superheroes are. And they do this quite simply with how much weight each hero can possibly pick up. Being able to pick up 800 pounds is the cutoff point between absolute peak human strength and superhuman. So being able to pick up, say, a thousand pounds for instance, would make you superhuman since it's 200 above 800. So if Varian is about 30 times stronger than the average Olympic athlete, which could be considered peak human, that would put him in the category of being able to lift 24 tons. Spider-Man on the strength scale is set at being able to lift 20 tons, so this would put Varian at a strength scale of a little bit stronger than Spider-Man. Which probably doesn't sound all that great since Spider-Man is notorious for holding back his strength. There's an arc in Spider-Man where one of his villains gains control of his body and figures out just how much he's been holding back, since if he used his real strength against normal street thugs or other villains who are barely stronger than normal people, he'd punch holes through them or obliterate parts of their bodies. Now back to Varian. If Varian has strength greater than Spider-Man, that means he'd also have similar speed and reflexes. Here's what his moment after taking down the Fell Reaver should have looked like. Killing that Fell Reaver was super lucky. Now taking out this army of Fell Guards should be a piece of cake in comparison. How can you guys not stop a single man? But sir, he seems to have the strength of about 30 Olympic athletes or some kind of number like that. But that's not what happens. Varian instead is shown as having normal human levels of strength, which lore-wise is accurate, and gets stabbed in the back by two fell guards after taking down a few. And that's fine, I'm not arguing his death to the fell guards and then Gul'dan. Where my complaints lie is with the scene immediately before the fight with the fell guards, 
You can't have Varian putting out superhuman levels of strength and then have him be a normal human again two seconds later. What, are we supposed to believe this is some kind of magic land? Oh wait, that is kind of the point of Warcraft. <laughs> I guess it does make sense. And the fact that nothing makes sense, let's just go with it. As long as you turn off your brain and don't think about it too hard, it works out. After all, I'm pretty sure Warcraft just does everything based on the rule of cool rather than some kind of internal consistent magical scale of power.